Today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love. I want to thank Essential Stencil for sponsoring today's video. We're going to head out to Dollar Tree. It is rainy, it is chilly, but we are excited because I am on search for these wooden pieces that you can find at Dollar Tree. You can find them in different sizes, but I grabbed three of these and I am going to do a really cute spring decor. I'm going to sand down all the edges, the front, the back, and that way they're going to be nice and smooth because they are kind of splintery once you get them. I'm going to paint one of them with this beautiful mint green by Bear, and then the other two are going to be white and I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Chalk Pin and the Linen White. Now I will tell you a little bit more about Essential Stencil and their beautiful supplies, but we are going to start with this one. It's a six pack spring one. It is from their brand new spring collection and look at these beautiful designs. I couldn't even pick. <laughs> I ended up going with the one that says Love Grows Here because I thought it was just really cute. I'm going to place it right in the center of the board and I'm just going to place one tape on top just to kind of keep it in place. I'm going to take some Waverly Chalkman in the white and one of Essential Stencil's stenciling brushes and I'm just going to start applying the uh, paint and basically you just want to add very little paint in your brush and just go in a circular motion until you have it completely stenciled. Looks so cute. Now I'm going to take one of their rub-on transfers. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is stunning. I love these designs. They are perfect for spring and summer and all you have to do is cut up the section that you want, remove the back, place it on the surface and then just scrape these little scrapers came from them as well makes it so easy you just want to rub and pull as you go if you have anything uh, running through the edges you just want to sand it down very lightly and i'm going to do the same thing with the other board Now that I have all three boards nicely set, I'm going to flip them over because we are going to attach them vertically. And I'm going to use a ribbon that I got. I think it was at Michael's a while back. It kind of looks like a shoelace. I was kind of giggling when I saw it. But it is a ribbon. So I'm just going to hot glue it going up one side and down the other. And then after hot glue, I do want to staple for a very secure hold. And that's about it for this one. So easy, so beautiful. You can certainly sell this one if you'd like. All the ones that I'm making today are gonna be ones that you can actually sell and make a good profit off of them. Made out of wood, solid, durable, and I love the way this one turned out. Friends, I am partnering with Essential Stencil once again. I love their stencils. They are not just beautiful, but they're so well designed and they are reusable and so durable. They just came out with a spring collection that is absolutely stunning. From small stencils for small projects to vertical porch signs to wood round stencils and even rub-on transfers. I have a link down in the description box where if you click it, you're going to see all these items that I'm using today and you're going to get 30% off on everything that I use on this video. Plus, if you use code BOP10, you get 10% on anything else you may like. So check it out. It is linked down below. For this next project, we are headed to Lowe's. Now, you can go to any hardware store as long as they have wood. If you go to the wood section, you can find these wood rounds. They're actually tabletops, but if you want to make a durable, large, heavy-duty, well-made, with quality finish, these are perfect for it. I'm going to grab a couple of them, but I'm going to work with this one right now, and I'm going to remove, of course, the plastic. They are pretty soft and well-made, but I do like to sand them down to make sure they're nice and smooth. Flip it over, do the same thing in the back. Now on the edges, I'm going to take a flexible sanding block and I'm just gonna sand it down just to remove any rough edges. Wipe it down really well. And then I'm gonna give it a two coats of Rust-Oleum Chalk Pin in the linen white, both the front and the back. Now again, all the projects that I'm making today are ones that you can actually make for yourself, but you can also sell. And using essential stencils, stencils helps with that because you can reuse these over and over again and you can make multiple. Look how beautiful this one is it's a multiple step it's almost like painting by colors i had such a great time with this project so the first one i'm going to use is the one that says hop on in 
I'm going to place it on some burlap ribbon that I taped onto some paper. I'm going to stencil it once again using Waverly Chalk Band in the white. Just going to use a circular motion with very little paint in the brush until it's completely covered. Once I have it finished, you can see that it's right on there. Now, you don't have to use the ribbon. You can put it right on the surface. I just thought adding the texture would be so much fun. I'm going to temporarily uh, tape the ribbon just to kind of give me an idea where I want it. Then it's going to be step two. We're going to put this first part of the bunny stencil and I'm going to stencil it using Waverly Chalk Pen and the Moss. I let that dry and now we're going to bring part two of the bunny stencil. Remember, this is all part of the same set. How cute. You can break this down using in different projects, whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. I'm going to use the Waverly Elephant color. It's like a creamy color. And then for the little flower, I'm going to use uh, pink by rust -Oleum. And look how cute they look just hanging out. Adorable. All right, moving along. This one is then the rub-on transfer. Now, it does come with some eggs and carrots that you can stencil, but I thought the colors of these rub-on transfers are so beautiful. They complement the bunnies so well. I thought I'm going to use it here. So I'm just going to use one piece and then add it more on the other side. I'm going to hot glue the ribbon to the back to make sure it's nice and snug. And then I am going to staple it to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. And then, of course, I want to cut off any of the excess ribbon so that it has a nice professional finish to it. Before we add anything else, we want to seal everything because if they place this outdoors, you want it to be protected from the elements. So I am going to use a rust -Oleum top coat. This is in the semi-gloss and just spray the whole thing front and back. I'm going to flip it over before we add anything to the front, like floral wise, I'm going to add the hook. So I'm going to use these that I get on Amazon and I do have this set in my Amazon store. So if you want to check it out, it is linked below. I added the two hooks on each side and then I'm going to take some of the wire that came with it, thread a little washer through it, thread it through the hook and then thread it through the washer again. I'm going to tighten that little washer, cut off any excess wire and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, creating a nice hanging piece. Now you don't have to add the wire. You can just leave the hooks, but if it's going to be hung on a door, you want it to have a kind of like a string or wire. All right, we're going to just add a mixture of different leafy greens here to the top of the uh, wood round. And I'm going to staple them because it is very secure and because the board is very thick, you can staple away and not worry about it coming out the other side. I added some purple ones and this beautiful pink one will finish everything off. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorites today. I love adding that ribbon, but that rub-on transfer really finished it off very beautifully. All right, back to Dollar Tree. I'm going to grab three of this uh, shelf. These are some hanging shelves you can get in the frame section. I'm going to take three of them and I am going to then paint three of these paint sticks, not paint, <laughs> stain using Rust-Oleum glaze in the brown tone. I'm going to let them dry. I remove all the plastic and everything from these shelves. This is what they look like. I took everything from it, including the hanging ropes, and I put them together, join them together using the paint sticks. I hot glue three of them in the back and staple them for a secure hold and made sure that I left about a half inch in between each board. The stencil that we are using from Essential Stencil is this beautiful bird's nest stencil. It's a two-step one. The birdhouse, I stenciled it right in the front of the board with Waverly Chalk Pen and the moss. And now I'm going to add the heart and the little window portion. I'm just going to place it right on top after it dried. And I'm going to stencil it using Waverly Chalk Pen in the white. Again, very little paint on the brush. And then just go around and around until you have a nice good coverage. Remove it and it looks stunning. I'm going to take one of the ropes that came with one of the shelves. I'm going to remove the little... Um, ring from it and I'm just going to put tape on each end because this is going to make it so much easier to thread through the little holes. I want to have a double hanging rope. I think it looked very pretty. So I'm just going to thread the first one through the first holes, making sure that I pull up leaving enough hanging string. And then I'm going to knot it in the front and cut off the excess. And I'll do the same thing with the other one as I thread it through the second hole. And that's it for this one. What a simple, beautiful one. It's very durable. You can sell this one definitely for a profit. I cannot wait to do this one again. Yeah. 
back to Lowe's again. All right, so if you've never crafted with real wood from the hardware store, highly recommend it, especially if you want to sell them at shows or if you want to sell them online, this is the way to go. I grabbed a 10 by six foot. I am going to cut off one foot from one side and then I'm going to bring it inside. I'm using my miter saw, but you can also go to the hardware store and have them cut it for you. If you know exactly the size that you need, this big machine you see here on the left is the wood cutting area and there is usually a sign right up there and you can find them. They charge a very small fee, sometimes even free. If it's just one cut, they'll cut it for you. So keep that in mind if you do not have a miter saw. All right, so once I had a cut, I took it inside. I'm gonna sand it down again to make sure it's nice and smooth. I did all the edges and both sides. And then I'm gonna wipe it well and stain again using Rust-Oleum Chalked Glaze in the brown tone. It is water-based, it's not stinky, it does not harm your hands. It's wonderful to use. You just apply it, remove the excess, and then let it dry. And that's what I did with this whole entire board. Once it was dry, it's time to start adding this beautiful Hello Spring stencil. It's perfect for the vertical sign for the porches, and it fits perfectly on these 10-inch board. I'm going to place all four stencils vertically, and then I'm going to attach them together with some masking tape to make sure they're not going to come apart. And to stencil it, I'm going to use multiple colors. For the actual letters, I'm going to use white, and this is Rust-Oleum Chalked Bin in the linen white. And then for the Hello, I'm going to use a, a teal color. It's like a Highland Blue from Rust-Oleum. And then I'm going to use a combination of white and green and pink for the butterflies and the flowers, alternating where I place the colors. My friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I have those links below in the description box. I would love for you to check them out. Check it out when you are done watching. And if you have not uh, checked out my blog, I have my website linked down below. I post my projects in a written format. So check it out when you're watching as well. All right, so I'm done stenciling and look how pretty this looks. I can't stand it. It was so easy to make such a large board. Definitely can sell for a big profit if I wanted to sell it. All right, I'm gonna seal everything using that same top coat spray by Rust-Oleum. And I'm just gonna do a couple coats up and down now my porch is not ready to be photographed yet <laughs> so i just placed it in front of my pantry door but look how beautiful this looks so easy so much fun to make i love these stencils and i hope you love them too don't forget check out the link down below from essential stencil you get 30 percent off on everything that i use an additional 10 percent on anything else you like and that link is below thank you essential stencil for uh, sponsoring this video and if you want to watch more there's another video here with tons more of inspiration Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.